Welcome to a new video from Accelerated Analysis Series PQB Power Query Basics. This video PQB03 consolidate budgets using Power Query. In the live example today, we are going to see how we can consolidate budget numbers if we are collecting the budget numbers from different departments and we get the numbers in the same workbook but in different Excel sheets. How we can consolidate all these templates in one pivot table using Power Query. So we are going to see how we can get data from another workbook, how we can use the sheets name in a new column in the consolidated table, how we can load query to pivot table, how we can edit query after loading, and finally, how we can unpivot month columns for better analysis with pivot tables. So before we start working, Let's have a quick look on the raw data that we have today. We have here the six departments of the company, finance, HR, IT, marketing, operations, and SEM. And as you can see, this is the OPEX budget. So each department submitted its budget in a different worksheet in the same workbook. And you can see here, we have the accounts in the rows, and also we have the month in the columns, but we don't have the name of the department in the template itself. We have it only in the a name of the tab or on the name of the sheet and we want to consolidate all this data in one pivot table actually we are not going to touch the original data or the raw data we are going to leave it in the same workbook and we are going to start our work in a new and blank worksheet as you can see here it's a new book it's book two and i want to just point to this data from the power query or extract this data from this workbook using the power query so we all know that power query in the data ribbon so i'm going to data ribbon on the left hand side get and transform and i'm going to select get data and from file and from excel workbook it will open the browser and ask you exactly where the file that you want to start to work with my data here in this folder raw data i'm going to select and import it will open the power query navigator in the power query navigator you'll see on the left hand side the name of your file raw data.xlsx and you can see number six here meaning that there is six objects inside this file and you can see here our six sheets for each department and if you select any one of them you will see a preview of the data on the right hand side here now i want to select the six but for the moment i'll just select any one of them and i'm going to click on transform data this will launch the power query editor in the middle you can see a preview of the finance department data as i selected in the nav navigator so i want to just to do couple of things before starting working on the data first one will just give a name to the the query it gives the finance as a name because we selected the finance sheet so i want to change this to opex and enter in the applied steps there is four steps starting with the source i want to go directly to the source and you can see here the excel.workbook function this is the function that power query use to get the data from excel workbooks and you can see here the path of the uh, file that we pointed to and here is the preview of the data in the source and you can see here the name is the six sheets and the nature of each one is table if you select table just from here you can see here all the data in finance if you select this table down here you see the data in the hr and so on and so forth so all i need from this table is the names and the data itself so i don't want to use any of these columns and also i want to cancel all of this automatically generated steps including the navigation that i use to select the finance data so i'm going to select the navigation step right click and delete until end and you can see the excel is polite asking you a confirmation that you want to do the steps it's okay i'm going to select delete and now i need only these two columns i'm going to select from the header name and from header also data right click and remove other columns now i have only these two columns i want to expand this data i can just click on these arrows you can see two arrows in different directions as you can see here just click on it you will see all the columns don't forget to uncheck use original column name as prefix and click on ok and you have all the data in one table here here is the finance hr it and so on and so forth 
now you can see column one column two column three i need just to use the first row as a header very easy from home ribbon use first row as header click you can see here the headers promoted but the first one still misleading finance i just want to give it a name like cost center and enter now i'm almost ready i just need to get rid of this header because each sheet contains header so i want to just get rid of the second header i can just select from here from january and i can scroll down onto gen uncheck and okay now i have all the data is okay the last thing before loading the data i just want to make sure the data types is okay i have the first column cost center abc that's fine because this is text abc account text no problem but now january till december you can see abc and one two three meaning that the excel didn't decide yet it's text or numeric and you can see here data type upside is any so i want just to change this i'm going to select january and click or press on shift scroll till the end select december now i selected the 12 month and from the home ribbon in transform section and from data type i'm going to select decimal number now all my data is ready i can just load I, i'm going to use close and load close and load two i'm fine with table for the moment i can just select b3 and okay it will load my data as you can see in one excel sheet 36 rows i have the 12 month i have the cost center that was not in the original data and now i have all the data coming together now the data is loaded into a table as you can see on the excel sheet and we have here on the right hand side the queries and connection and i can find my query opics with 36 rows loaded you can check here your six cost center you have no problem so there is two things that i want to do first of all i want to load this directly to a pivot table i can just use this uh, insert button and uh, just insert pivot table but i want to load this directly to a pivot table and the other thing i want to put all these month columns in one column so i have the month in one column uh, one field uh, for the month and also one field instead of 12 fields for the values so in order to do this i want to go again to the query i can just double click from the queries and connection double click on opex query it will relaunch again the power query editor i have here in the middle a preview of the data and i have here the applied steps the last step that we did together was change type i want to add another step so i want to use a very good functionality called unpivot i can find it in transform in the any column you can use unpivot columns but also you can have the lovely option of unpivot other columns so i can just select the cost center and the account and i want to unpivot the 12 uh, column of the month so i can just go to transform any column uh, unpivot columns and select unpivot other columns you will see quickly all the month came in one column called attribute i can just double click and call it month and enter so i did a quick renaming and also we have the values in one column i can just leave it as value but i can also filter out the zeros so the data i can get rid of the unneeded data and you can see here the three steps i added stored now the unpivot and the rename column and filtering the zeros if you go one step before you can see the data here 12 months in the columns one step after now the data coming in the right direction so i can just close from here from the uh, x on the top right and he will ask you if you want to keep or discard for sure i want to keep this is exactly like saving and you'll see here the table dimension changed and you can see now the opex query is 192 rows instead of the 36 rows last one i want to just load this directly to a pivot table instead of just creating a manual pivot table from this table i can go again to the same query and right click and i can use load two it will open the loading options and i'm going to choose this time pivot table report instead of table once you click on ok 
it will ask you if you want to get rid of this table i have no problem and it will create as you can see here a new pivot table i can quickly create a report let me put the cost centers in the rows and the amount or the value in the values you can see here the values and also i can put the accounts on top of the report in the filters so you can see the advertising you can see only in the marketing department look at the insurance it comes in the finance look at the maintenance it comes in more than one cost center right click and quick number formatting and now what if i want to add another cost center let's say that this is the half of the cost centers i'm just doing a dry run and more cost centers will come this should be amended in the original data and let's see what will happen it will be automatically updated but we need to go back to the original data and do some changes and let's put some new data in this original workbook i have here my six cost centers i'm going to add a new cost center just i'm copying the same worksheet i'm, I'm going to rename it sales and enter let me delete all these numbers and let's put only one number in sales let's say 1000 and i'm going to copy it till end for the 12 months and now i can just save and close and let's go back to our pivot table i'm going to right click and refresh you can see here the query is refreshing 204 instead of 192 and look at this this is the new 12,000 coming from the sales cost centers meaning that all the applied steps that was working in this power query editor on the right hand side is applied to the new data and i can see my table is coming my pivot table is just one refresh all the information coming correctly and all these applied steps applied to the new data very nice and very quick thank you very much for your time this is all for today and before leaving you please subscribe to the channel like the video if you like it and then leave me a comment so i can get uh, feedback from my lovely audience thank you very much and see you in next video and bye